sulfate formula in kinematics mostly and a little momentum so um a particle of mass 0.2 kg projected vertically upwards from horizontal ground speed 25 show that the speed p when it reaches 20 meters above the ground is 15 so so we know that it is um, projected with this initial speed and we have gravitational acceleration downwards and it's going upwards 20 meters so we know u is so let's say going up is positive u is positive 25 s is going 5 so positive 20 and a going down so negative 10 we are looking for the speed here so we're looking for v look at the mf19 formula the one without t we use this so the v is square root u squared plus 2 times a times 20 use okay later we get 15 so now we know that after going 20 meters upwards the speed is 15 next part when p reaches 20 meters above the ground it collides with the second particle q moving downwards so um, we know that when the height is 20 meters this is the speed of p previously from part a we know that this is the speed when the p is at 20 meters above the ground now when it's at 20 meters above the ground it collides with q this is the speed going downwards we have the masses and after the collision p is stationary and q is going upwards downwards we don't know yet we are looking for the v actually it's going to be b upwards so um we use the uh, conservation of momentum <laughs> momentum before equals momentum after collision so momentum before momentum is m times velocity so m v m v but we use initial final velocity for the p we have the mass velocity let's say upwards is positive for the q we have the mass velocity downwards must be negative then and after the collision the velocity of p is zero we are looking for the velocity of q this is v the velocity of q so um yes so your calculator from here we get three from here we get minus two and this is zero and this is one multiply by 10 we get the v so after the collision q is actually moving upwards because this is positive so if you don't say upwards you will lose the mark next part find the height above the ground at which p and q next collide so p reaches the ground when p reaches the ground it rebounds back directly upwards half the speed it had immediately before hitting the ground so so we know that after they collide the p is stationary the q is moving upwards 10 meters per second so this is this happens 20 meters above the ground so because of gravity p will go down and it will go faster and faster and faster when it reaches the ground it has some velocity so we are finding this velocity and we also need the time for p to reach the ground so let's say going downwards is positive so that means the initial velocity is zero the s going down downwards so positive the gravitational acceleration downwards also positive to find the v look at the mf19 formula do so we use this we need to find v so we need the one without t the formula without t is this guy here plug in the numbers we get the velocity this is the velocity of p right before hitting the ground and to find the time for p to travel to the ground here we have usa and we're finding t so we need the one without v we use this formula plug in we have the usa plug in everything and we're gonna get t equals 2 so this is the time for p to travel from this 20 meters above the ground to the ground that's the time now we need to find the um, velocity of q and the position of q as p is going down here so when the p is going down of course q is going up to the maximum height and going down again what we need to know is because this happens in two seconds in this two seconds after the two seconds is q still going up or is it now going down and what is the velocity and what is the height from the ground that's what we're looking for so um, again um, p is going um, 
upwards now so because it rebounds at half the velocity so we know that this velocity when hitting the ground is 20 so when it's going up uh, half of 20 is 10 now for the Q we need to find the V and we need to find the S so let's say now going upwards is positive initially the velocity of Q is 10 before so this is the velocity of Q before 10 and gravitational acceleration is downwards so negative 10 and we know that this happens in 2 seconds so the t is 2 we need to find the s and the v we use the mf19 formula to find the s we have this we need to find s we need to use the formula without v and we plug in we get the s so that means 0 means actually q is going up and it's going back down to its to its um, starting position when it collides with p and to find the velocity we have u a t v finding v so the one without s we use this the v is minus 10 which means of course it's symmetrical so before the um going up the velocity is 10 it's going back to the initial position so it's going to be 10 downwards now so we know now that when the p is going upwards after rebounding the v is um, the Q is actually going downwards at also 10 meters per second so we know that um, V is also 0 means it is back to 20 meters above the ground so we know the distance between Q and P is 20 meters we need to find the position from the ground at which they collide so we need to find this distance this distance and with the same time of course they so um for this distance we're gonna get, say going down is um, positive and for this distance we're gonna say going up is positive so for this um, part here going down is positive initial velocity downwards so it's positive gravitational acceleration downwards also positive but for this motion going upwards positive so the u is positive gravitational acceleration is downwards so it's negative so we use the um, this formula here the one without V so we plug in the U and the A you get this plug in the U and the A we get this the total distance the positive distance and this positive distance in total should be 20 so we are solving this we can cancel out actually so 20 t equals 20 the time is 1 so that is the time for Q to go down and P to go up, we are looking for this distance, so we are looking for the green S. We plug in the T to the S in green here, and we find the height above the ground when they collide again. So the answer is 5 meters, alright? I'll see you